With five days left until Election Day, Bethel O'Rourke returned to his hometown today to cast his vote and speak with voters. O'Rourke is the Democratic candidate for governor of Texas. He's facing off against Republican Governor Greg Abbott. O'Rourke addressed young voters asking for their vote. ABC 7's Rosemary Montanez joins us live from UTEP where O'Rourke spoke earlier this morning. Rosemary. Eric, despite a low voter turnout in the state of Texas, gubernatorial candidate Bethel O'Rourke is optimistic he can get it done today, talking to supporters and asking them for their support and their vote. Now, hundreds of people were present, gathered here at the UTEP campus this morning, some with signs and flyers vowing their support for Bethel this election season. Just five days away from Election Day, O'Rourke made a stop in El Paso as part of his Vote with Bethel campaign. O'Rourke making it clear he wants young people to make their voices heard this election. Now, before heading inside to cast his ballot, he spoke about his most important topics like gun control and reproductive rights and talking about education across the state. O'Rourke saying young people People will be the most impacted this election. In the year 2022, with the future and the fortune and the fate of the state of Texas hanging in the balance, no pressure, but this is on you. And it's not just on you to vote, as important as that is. It is on you to bring in your friends and your family members and your classmates and your colleagues and your neighbors. And after that speech, O'Rourke, along with his mother and his wife, Amy, headed into that polling site here at the UTEP campus, casting their ballot. Coming up on ABC 7 at 6, we talked to voters about what they wanted to hear earlier today. I'm reporting live at UTEP, Rosemary Montañez, ABC 7. All right, Rosemary, thank you. Governor Greg Abbott held a campaign event in Waco this morning. He tweeted this photo, and he also reminded everyone you have just one day left to vote early in Texas.